What's up you guys and welcome to another episode of Life of Lauren. Today I'm super excited because I finally get to talk about something that's a hobby to me, which is decorating my home. I love decorating my home. I love creating a space that just represents myself, somewhere that I like to be comfortable. I know in the past when I had work to do or homework to do, I'd always go to like a coffee shop, a Starbucks, whatever, but now I love my home so much and the space that I've created that I just have become such a homebody. So I wanna give you tips and tricks that I use to make my home super comfortable, but on a budget. Let's get started. piece of advice that I want to leave you with is make sure that your space is clean. So I know we all have a different interests and tastes in how we like to decorate our houses, but one universal thing is that we can all appreciate a clean home. So what do I mean by clean and how can you keep, keep a clean area on a budget? The first thing I want to show you is my fridge, which I take so much pride in. It's not perfect, but one day it will be. I love, love, love these containers. So some of your big, big box stores have them and they can be kind of expensive sometimes. When I say expensive, I mean for this size of a container, you can pay about $15, which is a little bit over the top if you need multiple like I do. So if you go somewhere like Marshall's, you can buy this for maybe $5. I also love, love, love these containers and I actually see great benefits from them. I'm running out of berries as you can see, but when I do keep them in here, I first wash them in these containers and then they drain at the bottom, which causes them to not mold so quickly. And I'm gonna be honest, these are from two weeks ago and they're not moldy yet, which I think is, that's just awesome because it saves you money and you're not constantly having to buy things or eat them right away. So. Keep this clean, keep your fridge clean. Uh, make sure everything stays as organized as possible. I clean my fridge every single week. Like I take everything out and wipe it down and it makes me, it encourages me to cook more. It encourages me to buy healthier things because just look how pretty that is. <laughs> and it, it reminds me, just being able to see everything reminds me of the food that I do have so that it's not getting all tucked away and you forget that you have it and then it rots and you waste money. So I do live in an apartment which makes it really difficult to put a bunch of things in my pantry because this is literally our only food pantry, so that's difficult. With that being said, if I do have to leave things on the counter, like my protein powder, I'd rather put it in something like this that's really aesthetically pleasing, looks clean and put together than a big ol' bucket or tin of protein powder, same thing with my pastas. I just do not have room for these stuffs, this stuff, so I like to keep it really organized and kind of match a theme. So you'll see some of my, some of my spoons and stuff are wooden, which matches with the lids of my jars. Um, even your olive oil. This is so much more aesthetically pleasing than a big old thing of olive oil. I just store my big one and then I pour it in here and it's actually really convenient and cute. My salt shakers, these were like five bucks and they both match the tan vibe of everything else. So it just is all really cute and goes together and despite not having that much space, it still looks really cute. Another thing that I wanna share with you is like I said, no space for any of this coffee stuff, not, not even these mugs, we don't have space for mugs. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just use this area and make a coffee station. So we have our Keurig, I bought this at Target and it, it just looks really cute. It doesn't look cluttered, but if I left the box there with all of these Keurig cups, it would look kind of tacky. And even if I just stacked my cups, that might not look good either. But when you put it all together with these cute little pieces, it just goes. So moving on to my next piece of advice that really helps me when I'm just trying to furnish this entire place is trying not to buy from maybe stores that are super trendy or where things can be overpriced because it's just, it's not realistic. So 
To give you an example of what I mean, I bought mostly everything except my couch and kitchen table. Um, I, I furnished everything else in here for a thousand dollars, just short of a thousand dollars, which includes this rug. If you know anything about rugs, they're extremely expensive. They go for about three hundred dollars, and this one was one eighty something, which was which is really really good. Same thing for my TV stand. I bought this off of Amazon for, I believe, $130. And I will be linking everything in case you guys are interested in this. Um, this stand, it's a book stand. I bought this off of Amazon as well. And this was really cheap too. I wanna say this was $75, but I'll link it. But another fun fact is, you guys probably know if you're into interior design like I am, these are so trendy. I don't know why, but they are, and I love them. And at one of these bigger stores that I went to, I found it for $25, which is really expensive. And I was even tempted. I was like, ah, oh, but it's cute. But I just decided not to get it, and I went to Amazon, and then I found it for $6. Something even cooler is vases like these, implants like these, that are so cute and trendy and help build this entire thing. One, two, six of my pieces from this bookshelf are from the dollar store. So this was $4, this, I left the price tags on. This was $5 and they're super good quality. And if you've been to the dollar store recently, you know that there's this new section that's all about like home stuff and it is so, so, so cute. I love that section. I actually end up spending a lot of money there. This was from the dollar store as well. Let's see if the price is still in there. I want to say this was $2 on clearance. It has a light I can put batteries in. I'm, I'm not going to though. It's just for the look of it. But all of these things can be costly if you buy them at, again, those really trendy stores that I'm not going to name, but you know what I'm talking about. One thing, I can, if I'm being transparent, uh, one thing I don't love about my apartment is this piece right here. I like it by itself, but I don't think it matches the theme of my living room. But with that being said, I wanna share this site that I just found. It's called unsplash.com. Basically what it is and what I'm gonna use it for is a bunch of really beautiful images that you can print for free. You can literally have a beautiful piece of art in your living room for 20 bucks. So I think that's such a still, I looked through it. They have like beautiful marble images or images of the ocean, just literally anything you can think of and it's there. So instead of buying a piece that you kind of like or you think you're overpaying for but you need one anyway, just go to that site, again, unsplash.com, download it, print it out, send it to Walgreens or Walmart, and then buy you a frame. You can probably even find a frame at a yard sale. Another thing I found to be really helpful and what I've seen progress in the style and the way that I decorate is I used to clutter things. like. If I had paintings, my whole wall had to be filled with them. Or I just couldn't, I couldn't stand leaving blank spaces on a wall. But now that I moved into this apartment, I just was like, maybe I try a more basic approach, not basic, but more simple of an approach. And I really love it. As you can see, there's more free space on my wall than there is actual art. And the art that is there is just um, a Bible verse, but I love the look of it. I love a simple lamp next to my table. And I always like to have fresh plants in my house. Sometimes it's not ideal if you don't have a green thumb like me, this is dying. <laughs> but for the most part, it is nice to have fresh plants or flowers in your house that go on top of your kitchen table that kind of bring just a pop of color and life into your simple looking area. Something really cool that I really like to do now is make sure that these essential things in your living room or in your kitchen, which I'll show you in a bit, uh, make sure they match the theme of your living room. So this looks kind of tacky. You see that like it just doesn't match with anything. It's blue polka dot, a blue you know, case with yellow and pink. It just doesn't match. But if you invest in one of these $10 cases for your tissue. It just really matches everything. It looks like you tried, and I think people really appreciate it. So the more pieces that I got from Amazon are these really, really trendy vases. I, I just love them. They're so cute, but ridiculous to spend $30 on. And if you know anything about headboards and bed frames, they can be extremely expensive if you buy them from big stores. But this one was under $200 for a king size bed 
which also we didn't even know it came with this I don't know shoe stand type of thing which is super convenient if you're putting on your shoes we always use this oh what hey what's up YouTube <laughs> another thing that I bought on Amazon again this is not sponsored, but it should be, is these nightstands, a set of two for $85. That is crazy. Two nightstands for $85 is just a steal. And then these lamps were $10 at Target. So you kind of have to wait to find things that you like. Don't rush into getting stuff just because you like it when you see it. The plant in my living room, those plants are so expensive and I wanted one for so long, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna spend $70 on a plant. One day I went to Sam's Club and one of those plants I've been wanting was on clearance for $15. So that is just so cool. This mirror, which I looked online for at one of these big furniture stores, it went for $250 and I got this on Amazon for less than $100. And if you know anything about these trendy feather things, they're so expensive. They're like 15 bucks each. But on Amazon, I found them three, it's a set, three for, I think it was $26. So all these little cute details are what make a house so lovely to be in. Things you don't think about, things that Josiah, my husband, was like, why would you buy that? Why would you need that little, you know, vase? Or like, what's the importance of it? Well, now he really loves it. He loves being here um, and he can see how it all comes together. So what I've been doing is instead of buying a bunch of cushions for my couch that match the theme of my living room, I'm instead, I invested in just plain pillows, just, you know, just plain white. And instead I buy pillow covers, which in the long run saves you a lot of money. Because if you go to, again, one of those big stores, you're easily spending 15 to $20 on one cushion, which is kind of excessive. And if you're like me, you like decorating for every single holiday ever. So it makes more sense for me to buy covers, pillow covers. You can buy them in a set of four too. Just keep switching them out. You can buy some for Christmas, for fall, while using the same pillow. And then you can also have the luxury of cleaning, cleaning these off. Like there's salsa right here that Josiah dropped that I'm just seeing. You can clean that. And, and not get mad. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Please leave a comment if this is the kind of content you'd like to see in the future. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. I feel like I have a lot of experience of decorating because I've lived in three places in the last four years and I'm probably gonna move again next year. So I really just, found what it takes to create a space that I'm proud of, that I'm comfortable in, and that I love to come home to every day. So again, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.